East West Wellness is a traditional Chinese medicine practice that is run by a grandmother, mother, and granddaughter. You can see the nerve going down. Dr. Mary Hongji, an acupuncturist, was influenced by this Eastern treatment early in life when her mother had a stroke. And my father was a physician, and he also knew the acupuncture. So he did acupuncture on my mother, okay, and my, my mother was paralyzed on one side, and after the treatment, she was fully recovered. Later in her life, Dr. Hongji got married and was influenced by her mother-in-law, Dr. Chen. And with her inspiration and encouragement, I think I really you know, pursued my career as an ac acupuncturist. Together with her internationally recognized mother-in-law, Dr. Chen, they opened East West Wellness in 2000. Three generations, right? Uh, Later on, the third generation acupuncturist in the family, Stacy Ma. Okay, so here we have two shelves full of herbs that we frequently prescribe to our patients. Who joined the team after completing her studies. She gave us a tour of the practice. And we have five treatment rooms. This is, for example, one of them. While explaining the health benefits of each service offered. And every single room have an electrical stimulation unit. We put these electrical stem on the needles and it makes the muscles vibrate. Um, and that really helps with stiffness and loosen up the muscle for better circulation and healing. We opened up in 2000, the year of 2000, okay, with only four treatment tables. And after a few years, we moved into this 5,000 square foot, okay, with 20 different treatment rooms. How is, how is your headache? Uh, you know, like, it's the headache and the constant fog that comes with the Lyme disease. When I was first diagnosed with Lyme disease in August, I used to come in much more often, and now I only have to come in once a week. So the headaches, the joint pain, the fatigue, um, mostly the, the, the after symptoms of it. I'm currently going through the treatment. So Dr. G does all of my liver support, all of the headaches support, all of the joint pain, the brain fog, so I can go back to work and lead a normal life. This is a steam tub. We open up this body steam and you sweat. So it's really good detoxification way for your body to get rid of things that you don't want. My specialty doctors for Lyme can tell the difference between when Dr. G has done certain things because like, like my ammonia levels are really low. So I've sat in uh, her infrared sauna, but I've also had detox done. And so they'll look at my blood levels and be like, do you do acupuncture? Yes, yes I do. Whoa. It's clear acupuncture is rooted deeply into the family tradition here. Dr. Hongji also mentors other family members immersed in the same field of acupuncture. So with all this help, okay, and work together, I'm sure the business we move to another step. The practice initially only specialized in acupuncture and then expanded to offer other services like acupressure, cupping therapy, steam, sauna, and much more. Dr. Hongji says she's glad that Chinese medicine is being more accepted by people and recognized as a medical treatment by insurance okay. companies. Yes, I do have a herbal supplement. We talk about, you see, about your energy flow. I was falling through the cracks of the Western medical system, right? I was seeing this specialist and that specialist and getting referred here, there, and yonder. Um, and coming here and working with an acupuncturist and massage therapists and specialists in the whole body has really helped to integrate those different pieces of my health. And I have seen remarkable change in only a few weeks where it had been 18 months of seeing specialists prior to that with very little relief. Western medicine can save people's life. And Eastern medicine, the acupuncture, can really change your quality of life. We also have a heating lamp for, for women, um, for fertility issues, for period issues. And for those that may not have insurance to get the treatment, the team is working on establishing a way to make acupuncture more accessible. With Stacy Health and Effort, we set up a non-profit organization so that we can help more low-income who have no acupuncture benefit so that they can have access to the natural medicine. 
It all started with one person that fueled inspiration and knowledge to the next generation. And the torch continues to get passed down. And we all learned from her, she passed a lot of knowledge and skills. Her passion over the patient really set us a good example to follow. The family tradition gets to pass on. There's a wealth of knowledge to be shared and sustained. We trust each other, we help each other, and so we really put a lot of compassion and empathy and care into the patients when practicing for, as a family. From Gatorsburg, I'm Mershai Sahalu.